Hey everyone, I hope you're having a good day because I am not. Okay, it's not actually that bad, like, you've seen the title, we're not going to discuss anything world-ending or overly nihilistic, just, just a little something for comedic hyperbole's sake, right? And maybe also to, uh, make me a little bit more loose and comfortable on camera, okay? Cheers. But with that said, might as well just cut to the chase. We are going to be talking about the new series that debuted in Shonen Jump, Build King, and why I personally will not be reading it. Some of you might know where this is going, but I promise there's a little bit more to it than what you're thinking. And no, the reason isn't because the protagonist looks like a poor man's version of Deku, nor is it because I don't think it would be my thing. The reason comes down to its mangaka, Shimabukuro, and the context in which it was serialized. First though, a little backstory. For those unaware, Shimabukuro was convicted back in 2002 for violating Japan's child prostitution laws. And I'm not breaking a story here, this news didn't just come out, it's been matter of public record for a while now, I mean it's even on his Wikipedia page both in English and Japanese. That being said, I will be linking down to the sources I have found about this case and would encourage you to look at them for yourselves as well. Unfortunately, the source for the ANN article talking about these charges in at least some detail now directs to a 404 page. Why, I obviously can't say, but the point is that I cannot fact check that article against its source. That said, I have found other sources that do corroborate these charges. They're taken from a site that by the looks of it publishes pertinent details of cases like these that they find in local newspapers in Japan. Once again, all those sources will be down in the description because I'm trying to be as transparent as I can about where I got these sources and the conclusions I'm drawing because of them. And based on what I found, he was sentenced for violating those laws. He, on three separate occasions, paid 16-year-old girls in each instance to perform lewd acts. He was originally sentenced to two years in prison, but instead ended up serving a four-year suspended sentence, which essentially means that if he had broken any law during that time, he would have immediately been sent to prison for those two years. Beyond that though, I wasn't able to find anything specific about Shimabu Kuro's probationary period. A few years later in 2004, Shueisha welcomed him back as he serialized Ring for a few volumes in Super Jump, and then he was welcomed back to the pages of Shonen Jump in 2008 with Toriko. And believe it or not, I am not telling you all of this so at the end I can say that's why you shouldn't read Build King. It's one of the reasons I am not reading Build King, but I am also not your personal moral compass. If you're able to fully separate the art from the artist, then go for it. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say that bad people can't make good art, because they do. But at the same time, you don't need to defend the author's actions to enjoy the work, right? Like, maybe that's a result of cognitive dissonance, but I'll see people talking about like, oh, she was 16, she was close to being an adult. That's a yikes. Like, at that point, you're focusing on the wrong thing. Same goes for if you believe that he's changed, or that it was a long time ago, because it was almost 20 years. If you believe that, great. But again, you do not have to then retroactively try and defend his actions then. But this is all still just one half of the Shonen Jump hypocrisy equation, alright? The other comes from much more recent Jump history, and I don't think I have enough of this. <sighs> so, Act Dodge is a series that if you followed this channel for a little while, or follow me on Twitter, you'd know I was very fond of, and to an extent, I still am. That being said, the writer is an absolute piece of shit. Remember that I said writer, it's important to remember that Actage had two people behind it, and as far as I can tell, Shiro Usazaki is someone that deserves absolutely none of your hate if you are upset about the series being cancelled, or upset about the things that the writer did, okay? But yes, in case you didn't know, Actage was cancelled coincidentally in the same month Shimabu Kuro's series was back in 2002, because the author decided to sexually assault a couple of underage girls while riding by on his bicycle. And let me just say this, for the record, no, I am not arguing that Actage should be let back into the magazine because Shimabu Kuro was, okay? Let's cut that head off right here, that is not what I'm getting at. No, instead, I just think it's massively hypocritical for Jump to cancel Actage, rightly so, but cite it as almost a moral obligation to do so, and then four months later, bring back a mangaka who has had previous controversies in a similar area. And you might be thinking, because I have seen some of it online, not a ton, but some, that, oh, what Matsuki did is so much worse than what Shimabukuro did, right? And to that I say, stop power scaling sex crimes! 
because the more you try to get into the weeds on this, the more you're losing the point. Because again, my issue is not solely with Shimabu Kuro being given a new series. It's just the optics of it all. That four months after Actage's cancellation jump point, hmm, what should be put in the magazine? Maybe one of our promising one-shots that have been doing well. Maybe any of the young blood or talent. And they went, nah, let's pick one of the potential three from this circle that has a past controversy, right? That, that's what I'm getting at. Even if it was almost 20 years ago, even if you believe up and down that Shimabukuro has been clean since and he has had a perfect character record, why would you serialize a mangaka that still has a controversy related to why you canceled your previous series? Ah. So that's about where I'm at right now. And it just looks, like, even worse, at least personally in my opinion, that you let somebody like this back into the magazine before you let Usazaki, right? The artist of Actage, like, the second most affected person after, like, the victims and their families. And if she's not ready, that that's fine. But again, there are so many other potential mangaka and series that you could have chosen, so why? Because to me, it just reads this hypocrisy blatant and utter hypocrisy and after this i honestly thought when act dodge was canceled that okay great maybe this is a change of pace maybe this means that jump is never going to work with matsuki again and that would be a really good step in the right direction especially considering all of the people that he negatively affected even his own artist but now i don't know i genuinely don't know if in five or even ten years if they'd be like yeah yeah we'll welcome him back and that just doesn't sit right with me. I shouldn't be opening this back up again. Yeah, you know what? Let's just... We're almost done. We're almost done. I don't think I'm going to need any any more of the uh, unfiltering. But I suppose this again brings it back around to why I'm personally not reading Build King. I'm not reading it because as of right now, that's really the only way I can voice my dissatisfaction with this decision. And I'm fully aware that me making this video and putting it out on YouTube will not in any measurable way influence the success or failure of Build King. There's no way I have any amount of sway over Japanese public opinion and sales of the series. So while I would encourage you to consider what I've talked about in this video before starting Build King, ultimately that decision is your own. That being said, you should 100% read other things in Jump first. Mission Yozakura Family is very good, Mashal is great, Phantom Seer is off to a really good start. There's plenty of things in the magazine that, personally, I would say are more worth your time at least to start before you consider Build King. Personally, I'm just biding my time waiting for the serialization of Aono Hako, check out my video if you haven't seen it, My Little Mars, and even Sakamoto Days, which is coming out when this video should be going up, looks really fun. So while I am disappointed in Jump's decision to serialize Build King this soon after the Actage incident, and especially before Usazaki is back in the magazine, there are still plenty of series and mangaka in Jump that deserve both your and my support. Just please, Jump, I don't want to make another video like this, or else I'm pivoting entirely to Weekly Shonen Magazine and Weekly Shonen Sunday. And that is a promise. But those are just my thoughts, and as always, I would love to hear what you have to say. Do you agree or disagree? And I encourage you to be as specific as possible, so that way I'm not assuming things, and you're also not assuming things if I decide to respond to you. I guess if you have read Build King, feel free to give me your thoughts on it. However, I am much more curious about your opinions on basically any other Jump series, or Weekly Shonen Magazine series, or Weekly Shonen Sunday series, or any series. And while we're on the topic of Jump in general, what genres would you like to see more of in the magazine? I know I'm really looking forward to a good sci-fi series. Those, as well as any other thoughts that may be on your mind, can as always be left down below. Also, if you're watching this within the first few hours of when this video goes up, then I am live on Twitch to talk about it and any other things that may be on my or your mind. Thank you so much for watching, though, and as always, an especially big thanks goes out to my awesome patrons, Overjoyed Soup, MV Pino, Jose, and everyone else whose support helps make videos like these possible. Links to that Patreon if you'd like to join them, my shirts, and everything else are either down below or on the screen right now. You can also follow me on Twitch or Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will see you guys next time.